Catch the carrots. What kind of movie is this? Why is the objective of the movie to catch carrots that are falling from the ceiling? I have questions that I know are not going to be answered. Okay, there's a platinum. Well, that was a game. All right then. Hey guys, it is NCSFan001 here for the road to my 769th and 770th Platinum Trophies. Today's games are this random Peppa Pig game. I believe its full name is Peppa Pig World Adventures for both the PS4 and the PS5. I don't believe this game has regional stacks, but I think that the original one might have had regional stacks. It's been a, quite a while since I played that one. Anyway, this is another children's game, and people probably wonder why I play children's game on the channel. Well, for one, they're easy platinums as to be expected, but more importantly, these streams tend to do better, and they allow me to ruin people's childhoods, hopefully, which is always a positive to living on... I, I don't know where I was going with that one, uh, but yeah, it's always a pleasure to ruin people's childhoods. Anyway, this Platinum Trophy is pretty easy, nothing much to worry about with it. I streamed the PS4 version, the PS5 version I did on my own a few days later. So the PS4 version took me about an hour to unlock, because I think my first trophy was at 9.11pm. Yep, that looks about right. So that was my first trophy, and then I got the Platinum at 10.15, so it took me just over an hour to get the Platinum. But you actually have to play the game a little bit before you can even go on your first adventure somewhere. So you're looking more at like an hour and a half of total gameplay. Or the very first time I did it, it was more like an hour and a half of total gameplay. But for this version, let's see. So this version only took about an hour of total gameplay. So it's definitely longer than the first game. But it's just as easy, if not a little bit easier, because there's no RNG this time around. There's none of that stupid... Hello, Mr. Bull. Hello, Mr. Rhinoceros. Thank you for fixing our roads. Or whatever that whole stupid comment is, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. Basically, the game is you go on a cruise ship to different locations, and you collect souvenirs, and do some specific action in each area, and that will earn you your trophies. So you have to go to the top of the skyscraper in New York, which is pretty much unmissable when you go to New York. The Christmas tree in Germany, you don't necessarily have to decorate it because you'll get sent back to the starting area once you have gone all the way up the hill and collected the toys for the person that's up there. The underwater treasure in Australia, I don't think this one's missable because I don't think the game will let you progress or I don't think there's anything else you can do in Australia until you get to this and I think that's what completes it. Then, for this one in Barcelona, there are a few other optional objectives you can do, like visiting everything inside of the stained glass, almost like a cathedral or something. You can visit everything in there, but it's not required. The only thing that is required is going to the beach and winning a game of real football or soccer for my American viewers. Then in Italy, you just have to go all the way through Italy. You have to make a pizza, which is pretty much the required sort of thing to do in that area. And then you can also mail a postcard afterward if you wish. Or you can just go straight back to the cruise ship. Then for the Eiffel Tower in Paris, this one's pretty much unmissable because it's really the only thing you can do in Paris aside from eating a bunch of ice cream and stealing your parents' orange juice. Then in London with this one, you have to talk to the Queen and, because I think this game came out before the Queen's death, you have to talk to her, you have to ride the bus, and you have to like wind Big Ben, and then you just have to go across the drawbridge and do a whole like action-packed cutscene type of thing for some reason. This is in the final area of the game. Once you finish the first seven areas, you can go off to Hollywood. And for this one, you just have to catch the space carrots. It's a mini game that you have to do when you get there. You'll also get this trophy just by accessing the Hollywood area, which I don't actually think it's every single area. I think you can get this after you go to either four or five areas, but you have to go to all of them for all the trophies anyway, so it's not like it matters. Then Basketball with Mandy Mouse. This one can't be done until you've completed like three to four areas. Once you've completed three or four areas, you can go back to the school and play basketball there. And that's how you get this trophy. Same thing with Tittles the Turtle. You can't do this one immediately. You have to wait until you've gone to like at least two locations to do this one. But go to the house. I can't remember if it's Peppa's house or your house. And just go there and find Tittles. 
you pick him up in the living room, then he'll be in one of three spots. He'll either be in the garbage can in the kitchen, or he'll be in the cabinet, or underneath the bed. So there's like three different locations. The souvenirs, this one, I think... I think this one could potentially be missed just by playing through the main story of the game. It, it wouldn't be easy to miss because there's a lot of easy to collect souvenirs, but I think this one could potentially... Yeah, so, it, well, maybe not. Maybe this one isn't missable. Maybe it's just automatic just by going to all the areas or something. But there's a bunch of souvenirs that you can pick up just along the way. Like, there's a stamp on the mailbox in New York, and there's a flower you can pick up, and I think it's... Italy, maybe not Italy, I, no, I don't think it's Italy, it's somewhere else, but there are certain items you can pick up, and those will count as souvenirs that you can carry back, but I'm not entirely sure you have to go out of your way to find any of them, and this Platinum Trophy is actually pretty uncommon, which is kind of funny, but I mean, this is a game made for kids, so I guess it's not that surprising. PS5 version is exactly the same, so again, nothing much to worry about, Platinum Trophy can be done in an hour, doesn't require any sort of guide or anything like that. So, quick enough, simple enough, certainly not the worst game I've ever played by any means. Alright, with that, level 849, 93%, 27,210 total trophies, 770 platinums, 5,075 gold, 7,268 silvers, 14,097 bronzes. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, please go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't done so already. Let me know in the comments if you've completed the Peppa Pig series yet. Because you do one game, you gotta do the series. And I will see you guys back here real soon for another trophy video. Thank <laughs> you.